Come on back. Come on back. A little bit more. Right there. It's good. Should come off nice and easy. Okay, you ready to unload? Yeah. We'll just pull her off nice and easy. So put it like in fourth gear. Let me get you off the hill. Easier to turn. or something good let me get going and let out on the clutch all right let her turn over there we go now what's the oil pressure all right guys so here is our uh, 1944 45-ish it's got a cast iron knob there on the steer, uh, gear shifter Farmall H um, the last that we knew from the person that we purchased it from it had been many many moons since this thing had run probably 20 plus years and that's pretty evident from number one when we take a look at our uh, rusty carburetor it's been a while however the engine is loose it does carry oil pressure the gas tanks not terrible and serial number is 143815 one really neat thing is this rear tire while not really that nice of a tire is a Pennsylvania tire and yeah, right down here. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it says Pennsylvania. So that's the first time I have ever come across a Pennsylvania tire. But overall, when we look at it, clutch feels good, shifter feels about normal. We got a push button, um, got a nice manifold right there. Aftermarket, it looks like. Sheet metal is not bad, but not great. And over here, we're covered with typical Farmall H gunk. So, we will be tinkering with this a little bit here in a future videos. We do have a bad tire, which seems to be pretty common nowadays. Um, I think I have one more spare left to throw on an old Farmall H. And we'll see how this goes. I was more interested in the wide front end, even though it does need a little work. We're gonna have to uh, 
clean this up and get this in a better shape. And we'll have to get to work on this area and then right there. But those are all good projects to work on. Otherwise, it's a pretty unmolested wide front end factory for a farm all. And the only thing I need to come up with would be these braces from here back to there. The angle braces. And I think I can fabricate something that looks relatively close to what we had. All right, so there we go. Newest purchase here, Farmall H. We'll see what we can make out of it. The first thing that we've done is we've went through and we've hit all the major grease points on the wide front, since that is pretty much what I wanted from this tractor. And everything moves. I don't see any nasty cracks or welds. The thing I have missing are the angle braces, but I think we can fabricate that. And uh, as I've mentioned, this thing has done a lot of sitting. The tire is shot. The rim may be salvageable. The seat is one of my preferred seats, but I think it's going to need a new set of bushings and a spring and a shock. But everything else, we can probably uh, salvage off of that. It does have a paper pulley, but I sure wouldn't want to spin that. One of the neat things is, is I don't think this tractor has been painted for a long time because it's got some cool stickers still left on it. And this one, unfortunately, you just couldn't read it, but it was still hanging on there. Uh, one of the big issues here, well, let's just go right in there and take a look. Yeah, so you can see that spark plug. We're not even going to try to fire this thing up until, uh, well, look at that right there. There we go. Yeah, that's top quality uh, spark plug wire right there. We're not even going to try to fire this puppy up until we get some spark plugs and some wires. And uh, I might as well just drain the oil and throw some cheap Walmart oil in it to see what I got for an engine. Um, but when we get to looking up here, we can really see how long it's been since this thing has ran. I mean, if we look at that pulley right there, it was rusted to the belt. So I believe the gentleman when he said it's been quite a while since this thing has ever run and uh, may not be salvageable, you know. So what I have done is pulled the carburetor off, stuck it in the evaporust to let it get sitting. I have also hooked the battery up and made sure everything turns over. So we're good to go there. Outside of that, we are not going to do much. The gas tank is a little dirty on the bottom. I'm going to use the old uh, muriatic acid trick that I believe it's Turbo H was the viewer that told me about. And we're going to go from there on that and try to clean this one up again as well as it worked last time. And then uh, we'll just see what we got. If the transmission's relatively quiet and the engine runs and carries oil pressure, maybe we don't part it out. I'm not real sure on that one. But overall, that's what we drug home today. Uh, Mid-wartime H with the cast iron knob. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for some more playing on this.